But you got no coins and you wanna pack bail But you hate FIFA points and you wanna beat your brother with a super fly team But your coin total zero so it's basically a drink You FIFA is the answer to your question Cheap and reliable, the best on the net kids CWB for 8% off nah, Stack them coins and load your squad up What's happening boys and welcome To the I Man of the Match editor of the Portuguese Moth Episodia Sometimes I do an intro to the degree Where I feel like I'm about to pass out That's why I have my trusty McCafe right here bros And no I'm not being paid by McDonald's I just have to put that out there In this episode boys we're going to be looking at I Man of the Match Editor, who got his I Man of the Match card for probably one of the better Euro goals I've ever seen, comes on, and literally moments later, minutes later, he goes ahead in the 109th minute of the Euro Championship, and he scores himself a freaking goal. 109th minute to give Portugal the lead and the eventual win. Absolutely freaking crazy, crazy match. And then the 92nd Gignac post hit which was absolutely crazy i think there were three minutes added on and then the 92nd minute he had a chance to win it for france alas it was not meant to be there were a couple opportunities griezmann had a header that usually in most uh in most opportunities throughout the euro he would have made also got himself the uh, player of the tournament with, I believe, six or seven goals. I think it was six goals. But, uh, yeah, absolute incredible performance from France throughout the entire tournament. And, honestly, a lot of people want to hate against Portugal, but they did go through some pretty tough competition. They went through Croatia, um, and then they also went through uh, they went through a very difficult Wales side. I know they didn't have Ramsey, and I think they didn't have Ben Davies as well, but that was a really, really solid Welsh side that they went through. It wasn't pretty, but they freaking won. Also, if you watch the American coverage, Steve McManaman, who uh, you guys would know as Maka if you're from from the UK was absolutely tearing Portugal apart saying that the wrong team won it and I completely disagree it might have been not the prettiest way to win a tournament but if you win you win it but anyway boys we're looking at I man in the match editor and probably the craziest thing that happened in the match was Ronaldo going off early in the first half he was taken out by Payet I don't want to say it was intentional I'm not gonna go which way on that one but at the end of the day he was injured he tried coming back in a couple times and his knee just buckled. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't good at all. He was incredibly, incredibly injured. Uh, he actually came. Charisma actually came on for Ronaldo. So in this squad builder, it's going to be a little different. I'm just putting together an emotional side. Most of these guys started uh, with the likes of uh, Fonte and Cedric, who are actually both play for Southampton. We've got this guy Rafael Guerrero, who has signed for Dortmund. An amazing, amazing signing for Dortmund. We've got Nani. We're going to play him out of position. Uh, we've got Silva, who's got a team of the season card. Looks absolutely beast. Joe Moutinho, I believe, did not start. I think he was one of the reserves and uh, we were gonna try and get uh, Silva but his card is actually extinct his inform and team of the season card and then obviously we've got Ronaldo I'm in the match editor and Quaresma but uh, yeah a really really solid looking side in FIFA as well have decided to put this together and Pepe got himself the UEFA man of the match even though Eder got the uh, the uh, FIFA 16 I'm of the match the funniest thing that happened was the moth that landed on Ronaldo's nose when he was down uh, but you know, there's all these theories that it was like a freaking magical moth and that it gave him the power and like the knowledge to go to the bench And he was like a really good manager from the bench and maybe he told the coach to put in editor at that moment But anyway, there's all these theories that are absolutely hilarious But yeah, that moth in many opinions should be the I man of the match But anyway boys if you guys do enjoy the episode hit that like button Let's try and blast 93 likes for Ronaldo's card rating as well If you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter those links can be found in the description below But uh, yeah Let's get into a couple matches. Let's see how this Portuguese Euro 2016 champion side performs. All right, boys, here we go. Match number one. And look who we're coming up against. Ronaldo versus Payet. Um, and he's also got Koscielny in there. A couple starters from the match yesterday. This isn't the actual Portuguese kit. For some countries, they couldn't get the licensing, so they kind of had to make their own thing up. Oh, my God. That freaking rip from Eder. And think about, like, all the players that you haven't used. Like, so many people use the same players. I'm not talking about like having a lot of coins and just using like I man of the matches or or informs like that, but there are players. There are so many players that people don't know about that could be like glitched or something, or just like absolute crazy cards that we just don't know about. I'll tell you what card I'm looking forward to in Ultimate Team next year, freaking Renato Sanchez. If he's not at least I think Renato Sanchez, because he's going to Bayern and because of the performance at the Euro and because he's never been in uh, Ultimate Team yet, I think. You gotta give him, I think you gotta give him at least a 79 or 80. Dude, he's so strong. Let's try and bulldoze. Oh shit! Fuck! There, yeah. <laughs> Enter! How do you not freaking volley that, bro? Yo, Ender, 
What are you doing, son? How have we not scored yet? I need a little McCafe. The body faint couldn't do anything about it in that finishing. I think his uh, this I made of the match card only has like 84, 85 finishing. But uh, that's the kind of goal you're looking for. 90th minute, boys. We got this. No! That's match. And there you have it, boys. Match number one in the bag. We get ourselves a victory. Edder scores a fantastic goal. Only 7.2 rating. Patricio gets himself the 8.0. But really, that's the only thing that matters. Ronaldo got himself the assist. Eder got himself the goal. Really, really, sort of, I guess, could have gone either way, but we get ourselves the win. Let's get into match number two. All right, boys, here we go. Match number two coming up against another team of the tournament player in Tony Clues. He got himself uh, he got himself the, I uh, believe he was one of three midfielders in the team of the tournament. Really solid look inside this. Let's freaking get in this match. Let's tear it up. This is going to be a 3-0 one. I can feel it. Pepe, what a G. What an absolute G. Sort of a shithead in real life, but an absolute freaking G in the game right now. Oh, that's great! Oh. That's sent from Ronaldo. For whatever reason, we can't score. We've got possession. We've got some shots, but we just can't freaking score. Come on! Oh shit, no call from the ref? Pepe. Enter's open. That first touch. Ronaldo, there you go! That was set up for Enter, come on boys! Enter with the nice little move. Really, kind of like a lucky bounce, and then Ronaldo just doesn't miss that near post. Does want to bang one in from here? He's got double coverage. Does Edder want to bang one in from here? He can. <gasps> Ronaldo, how do you miss that bad, bro? So it's not a 3-0 match. It's another 1-0 victory. I feel like I'm playing exactly how Portugal has been playing in the Euros. Uh, high possession. Pretty solid organizationally. If there's one if there's one way to describe how Portugal has played this tournament, it's organized. 6.8 for Eder. 6.4. Look at that. It's all the defenders. Ronaldo gets himself the goal in the second match. Eder gets himself the goal in the first match. That's pretty much how it's gone. We have to have a high-scoring match in match number three. Let's go. 56% possession. This is exactly how they play. Here we go, boys. The, the third and... Watch all your videos. What? This, this is amazing. Come on, Ronaldo! Take that! Dude, Edder's got some distance pops as well. Four halves, two goals. What the shit? Now we're winning this freaking match. Come on! Wait. Let's go! Oh, let's go, Edder! Two headers! A header from Edder! Come on! Wow! Beautiful pass from Charisma. And that was that. I don't know who that was. Was that Fonte or. Was that Cedric that sent it in? The header from freaking Edder. Come on, boys. Now, there's no way we're going back now. We're winning this match. Oh, 3-2. 3-2 in the 77th minute. Let's go. Oh, my God. I legitimately feel like I've just won the Euros, boys. And 4-2. 
I've never scored as many headers that I have with this Portuguese side. I think we have like three, three or four headers in three matches. What the heck? What is actually happening right now? It's like this is his freaking FIFA 14 card. Why'd you do this? <laughs> FIFA 14 headers were OP as hell. And that's exactly what we brought back with this header card. And there's the game, boys. We get ourselves a victory. We went down 2-0. And then the freaking Moth of Luck came by and got us a hat trick with man of the match freaking header. Got himself three goals. Ronaldo had to get himself a goal. I think Ronaldo scored in two of the three matches we played. Absolutely freaking emotional right now. Five shots on target, four goals. But anyway, boys, that is the I'm Man of the Match Edder and the Portuguese European Champions. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And you can still use... I know it's Monday, but I'm still having the discount available for just today. So if you use code E-U-R-O Euro at the Zwag Your T-Shirt store, link is in the description below. You get 10% off. As always, boys, I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, tschüss, later, adi. Are these little Pokemons? What are these? Are these little Pokemons? There's a Rambill dude?